briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Supreme Court of California heard the 1867 case Gashweiler v. Willis, which focused on the limitations of corporate actions based on their charters. In 1865, the Rawhide Ranch Gold and Silver Mining Company decided to sell their property to D.W. Barney. Three trustees, S.S. Turner, Tennessee, Willis, and James J. Hodges, were authorized to conduct the sale on behalf of the corporation. During the trial, plaintiffs attempted to present the conveyance deed as evidence, which the defendants objected to. The court concluded that the trustee's authority to execute the sale had to be proven in order to be considered a valid corporate act. The court discovered that the trustees had acted in their individual capacity, and the authority to sell and convey the property could only be provided by the entire board of trustees. As a result, the conveyance deed was excluded from evidence. The court's decision upheld that only the assembled board of trustees had the power to execute corporate acts such as the sale and conveyance of property and individual trustees lacked the authority to do so. Consequently, the resolution adopted by the stockholders did not authorize the trustees' conveyance, making the deed inadmissible. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.